yo 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 what is up everybody prime dice here again with another video and in this video i will be going over into what comes after shrimps i really hope that you guys like the what comes after borland video so this is the same thing but this time with your tank okay so what familiar can you actually replace shrimps with so it is pretty simple i'm gonna go over which i believe it are like the best ones and what most people use you know but you'll see if you are enjoying my content please like the video and subscribe for more awesome content okay um right now i'm in tier 8 i know last video you saw was tier 6 i'm gonna release this video then i will show you um what i did to do to be tier 7 okay right now i'm working on my tier 8 build and everything in order for me to release the next video so what is the familiar that comes after shrimps one after you finish after you finish um eularius right the eularius dungeon um not not the eularius sorry after you finish um zone zone six right um what you are going to do is that let me let me look it up here good okay, sorry um this one right here right so you will have this place right here it calls Mogur's Catacomb. In here, you will actually find a schematic that's called Eularius. Okay, and this is the uh, is the uh, the one that I have right now. Right now, I have him plus five. Um, you can see it over here. I already have him plus five, and those are his stats. Okay, so um, so Eularius, when you see the stat distribution he is pretty good you know all the other options are a little bit better but eularius by far is the easiest deflect tank that you can actually get okay why because you only need three negrim three varlos and three larso that appears in that same dungeon as well um here how they here is how they look like negrim varlos and larso and you need three of each in order to make one eularius okay so um if you want to fully fully stable him you will need 18 18 and 18 okay so these are his stats and and his skills and everything you know i'm going to go straight to a point so that way you guys don't get bored and you guys can actually <clears throat> and girls can actually um begin to just pick one of these ones okay or you can come over here to big heroes um big heroes wiki and you can go into the fusion section here information familiars and fusion and you can also look up this information okay just pick one you know but based on my experience eularius even even towards end game eularius is amazing okay so um and if you have some some pumps for the augments and that it, it is deflect then even better because you will be able to deflect even more okay so that is this is the first one the easiest one and really reliable and really good um deflect tank okay next one um it's um wins lobo wins lobo is also a deflect tank um but if you see his stat distribution he has way more hp than than eularius he has 56.6 and over here um oops not this one um eularius he has 39.7 you know so yeah he's a really really good familiar as well i mean i have never used i've never used them or anything like that because the familiars that it takes in order for you to create him is a little bit rough not so much because of winslow <clears throat> that is this familiar right here the little guy with the with the cane or whatever um you can find him on zone 7 dungeon 2 that's where you can actually farm for him but the other familiar that you need is the the j317 and it's the robot in raid 4 and when it comes to raid familiars they are really really hard to 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 capture you know and remember like i've told you in the past the idea of getting a schematic and a familiar is for you to actually be able to um to get them to plus five you know like if you see my eularius over here look plus five you know so that's that that's the reason the easier you can get him to plus five in a way then the better it is you know especially if you're free to play like i am in this account okay so 
um if you want to spend time and you want to go for 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 wins lobo instead then okay then you do it you know it, it is your game um but in my opinion i mean it's not worth it <clears throat> just because of all the grinding that you need to do etc okay so for my next familiar it's going to be scored scored um in a way it's fairly simple the only downside on him it's the 10 mini serum and only that only the 10 mini serum because scorpius yes he's like he's like on rexy you know when, when you were going to create on remit or if you did create remit um you know that that rexy is an epic dungeon um boss right so it's the same thing with with this one the scorpius he appears in zone 7 dungeon 1 so yeah you need to farm six of him in order to make five of 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 score so but the downside on this is that um the mini serum is just a random drop that happens anywhere throughout the game so yeah so the 10 mini serums i mean it's going to be rough let me see if i have any in my playthrough up to tier 8 let's see let's see how many i have if i have any let's see Right now, I only have 19. Because so I got the Jumbo, but it's the Mini Serum. 19. And for this one, you need 10, you know. So, after playing through this and whatever, like, I can only make maybe two. Two of, of Scort, you know. So, yeah. And at this point, I already have my Eulerius plus five. So, I'm going to farm for another Eulerius so I can have two of them because I know, like, further on, it will be good to actually have two Eulerius. And you will see why in my following playthrough and everything. But, yeah. So, those those are, those are like, the familiars that, that I actually recommend for you to get. And remember, it's not, like, yes, you can select the best ones out of all this list and whatever. But remember, it's the one that you can actually get him to plus five okay because they will they will help you out a lot during the next flags especially after tier 9 these will come really really in handy um i'm not going to talk about expedition familiars because they are also good if you want to check them out etc it's just that if you're free to play guess what you can't do um a lot of runs in order to get the schematic in order to get all the things needed in order for you to craft those familiars they are really hard to get so that's why i'm not talking um about expedition familiars like early on or whatever you know um maybe for the long run or whatever you know but yeah but not i mean i just feel that it, it's not worth it if you can't if you're free to play you know and i want to keep this like as real as possible because i know that there are are a lot of you that you guys don't want to spend money on video games you know especially a mobile game or whatever you know so hey that's perfect that, that that that's understandable okay so yeah so i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video i really hope that that you like my content if you do please um subscribe and hit that like button so you help the channel grow more and more so i can help more and more people okay so with that being said everybody take care and this is prime dice out peace